How's it going, lads? Phil Potter here, and today I've got an episode of Exotic Teams for you. We've gone all the way to Venezuela. La, la, la. Yeah, so I'm just going to fly through the actual team. Uh, you'll see, as I'm flying through my team, you'll see how shit my record is. Um, but Ultimate Team drives me absolutely bonkers. Uh, I hate it. But uh, I just love the fact that you can build your own squads, whatever way you want to do it. But I hate the actual gameplay side of it. So it's it's weird. It is weird. But anyway, here we go. So I'm just going to fly through the key players in this team. So you've got Amora Bieta. Now he's six foot four, so he win all them headers, but his pace is atrocious. But he is an eighty one rated centre back, so he has to be one of the key players. He just has to be, you know. Um, six hundred fifty coins. You can't get much cheaper than that for a shiny gold. So uh, next decent player we're looking at would be Rincon. Here he is now. So uh, for his defensive midfielder, he's pretty solid. He's got uh, seventy five defending, which is what you want, uh, and he only cost me 800 coins so that's not bad that's not bad at all now would i recommend this team to you lads absolutely not a hope in hell it's and i don't think it's the actual team's fault it's more um ea's fault the matchmaking is absolutely atrocious every team i come up against just destroys me because they've got fucking 103 pace up front you know what i mean i just can't handle it with with 69 pace 52 pace and then 81 pace i threw him in he, he's not even a center back i threw him to have a little bit extra pace but did, did he help much no of course he didn't anyway the next player that is worth looking at is juan arango now he cost me fifteen thousand coins is he worth fifteen thousand? no not a chance uh so i'd recommend get just the normal one if you want to build this team that's absolutely atrocious <laughs> um yeah you can get uh the normal one for 650 coins like so this whole squad cost me 23,650 coins but that's mainly arango's fault so if you if you were to swap in with just the normal one it would end up costing you about 9,300 or that's what it would have cost me anyway so the next decent player is vargas now he he's probably the best player he's the player i enjoy playing with the most in this team he's four star skills his weak foot five star weak foot it only cost me 3k uh <laughs> so yeah no he's, he's a good player i think he plays for for anderlecht is it anderlecht yeah anderlecht so he, he's a good player and i would definitely recommend him now we'll jump up to the strikers uh rondon this man is a monster i don't know why i don't know how he's just he's an absolute monster he, look his stats don't even look that great but he wins a lot of headers and he 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 does the business you know what i mean lads he does the business and then miku um <clears throat> plays for celtic i'm sure a few of you have heard of him before he's solid enough uh i got him for 250 coins so it's not like he's breaking the bank or anything but uh what's he scored for me he's scored five goals in eight games for me so that's not bad at all so yeah that's basically the team i'm gonna have a foothead link um so you can have a look at at the team yourself you know see what price they go for and their stats and all that and now we're going to head into the goals. So here are the goals. <laughs> I've got about seven uh, goals, which isn't great. I'd love to have about 10 goals, but uh, this was just frustrating me so much that I couldn't hack it anymore. But uh, some of the goals are decent. I got a few cheeky finishes in there. And Miku, in fact, now looking back at the goals now, Miku was the standout performer. So uh, not bad. Not a bad little signing for 250 coins. Might make a little SPL team. Uh, anyway, what I need from you now, lads, I actually need you to comment below and give me some recommendations for, for uh, exotic teams. I love doing this series, although playing the game can be frustrating and it's not as addictive as previous FIFAs. To keep myself uh, slightly addicted, um, I need to vary up my squad. So if you could help me with that, give me some cool recommendations that not many people think about, then that would be brilliant. Um, also, I have a few little things I want to say. Uh, I'm going to... Not I'm going to try to get FIFA Fridays out. I'm going to have FIFA Fridays out this Friday. So watch out for that. And um, another thing, I, I, I'd love to keep my channel active. A lot of people will be tweeting at me, you know, going, hey, what's the story? When are you going to upload? Your voice sounds like honey, you know? <laughs> no, that's not a compliment I've ever gotten before. But um, I'd love to bring out a series that I could 
you know, keep my channel active. Uh, like something I could knock out fairly quick and easy, you know, and I'm not talking about masturbation <laughs> because masturbating usually takes me about an hour. But anyway, let's not get into that either. I'd love something like just to keep me active. It'd be brilliant. Like even just every now and again, just show you what my ultimate team is like at the moment or what my favorite squad is at that moment. I don't know, but give us a few suggestions because I'd love to keep my channel active. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's about it. Final words on Venezuela, don't buy it, lads. If you want to have a challenge, then go for it. Uh, I don't, wouldn't really recommend it, but uh, if you like to vary it up, if you get bored of just Premier League teams, all this kind of stuff, go for it. <laughs> but anyway, lads, 9,300 coins, not too bad for a, for a team like that. So I'll talk to you later, lads, and have a good one.